the action research proposal using the continuous improvement process. For the first and second pages of the proposal, we have the approval sheet which includes project title, researchers' data, your data, five signatories, or the division research committee. You only need one copy of this page. For the evaluation form, which includes research title, name of proponent, evaluation criteria, which needs to be filled up by each research committee member. This page must be reproduced in four copies. These are the different parts of action research proposal. We have the context and rationale, action research questions, proposed innovation, intervention, and strategy, action research methods, action research work plan and timelines, cost estimates, plans for dissemination and utilization, and lastly, we have the references. Context and rationale. It does have the following parts. Overview, literature or related studies, introduction to the main focus of the current study. For the overview, there must be 10 literature or studies according to the new standards released by the Region 5 PPRD, which must be interconnected with the responses to your research questions. Because later on, in following the IPAIR strategy for the discussion of the results, we or you will have to reflect and then the link between the literature and the result of your study must be Presented. So the literature or studies may be international and or national standards of your chosen topic. So there are different sites where we can search for literature and studies online. We have here ERIC or the Institute of Education Sciences. We also have Mendeley, the ResearchGate, and the Google Scholar. If you have other sites that you know where you can find literature and studies, you may use them. So now kindly focus your attention on the paragraph inside the red box. That is a sample of how we must cite a study. In citing a study, we do not need to paraphrase the whole abstract. We just need to get the result of the study. As for this example, for the study conducted by Miss Lee, Jessica, and the others on 2020, they found out in their study on the comparison between the virtual platform with that of the face-to-face. -face. So there is a com comparison within uh, for the, within the two modality in taking any course of study. The student in face-to-face -face courses were more more likely to score higher and demonstrate proficiency on standards of learning and advanced placement exams than students taking the same course through virtual Virginia across most subject areas. So we just get the result for each related study. Next, we have the action research questions. So we have four components for action research questions. Number one, we have the introduction. So we have to cite the goal of our study and then the respondents with the timeline. So for this example, this action research aimed of improving the student's cursive handwriting in preparing their outputs for the written works and performance tasks in Araling Palimpunan, Nine. This school year 2020-2021. Specifically, this will seek to answer the following action research questions. So for the action research questions, we are required to provide a minimum of three questions. For the question number one, it must be related to the baseline data needed for the research. Question number two, must be on the level of effectiveness of the innovations, strategies, and interventions implemented. For the question three, 
it must focus on the effects of the actions implemented on the attainment of expected outputs. For number three, we have the expected outputs. So we are required to provide a minimum of one expected output for our study. So include the line at the end of this action research, the following is R expected to be achieved. Of course, we use is if there's only one and R is more than one. And then cite the expected output or outputs with the baseline data and the target. For example, Number one, improve students' cursive handwriting from 78%, which is the baseline, to 98%, which is the target as reflected in their written works. Number two, increase students' rating under performance task in the preparation of caption of a picture using cursive handwriting from 78% to 98%. Lastly, we have the questions for the VOC. Okay, for in, in developing the questions for the voice of the customer, we must bear in mind that we must be able to solicit responses on the needs and wants of the responses. So, dapat nasa lingwahe na maiintindihan ng mga bata. It can be in Filipino or in Bicol. For example, kung bibigyan ka ng pagkakatao na markahan ng iyong sulat kamay, ilan ang marka mo? At bakit? Ano ang ginagawa mo upang maunawaan mo ang sarili mo sulat kamay? So, those are examples of questions for the VOC. You may provide three to five questions for your action research. So, example of action research questions for the baseline data needed for the research. We have here the CI project profile which includes the KPI, broad problem statement, key process, key customers, process owner, questions for the VOC, affinity diagram, SIPO, priority, improvement area, and root causes. So you may copy this particular question in your action research proposal. Another, on the level of effectiveness of the innovations, strategies, and interventions implemented, your, questions may be, your question may be, what is the level of effectiveness of the interventions, innovations, and strategies implemented? On the other hand, we have the effects of the actions implemented on the attainment of expected output. Your question may be, what is the significant improvement in the performance level of the learners as reflected in the mean rating of the fourth grading test results and the attainment of other expected output. So there you have the sample of action research questions. Proposed innovations, interventions, and strategies. So we have number one, visual management. So this is a tangible or something that can be seen by the respondents or display that will help you to attain your expected outputs. Number two, mistake proofing, ensuring the correctness of outputs before the submission. Submission of outputs to the process owner or the subject teacher. Number three, process simplification. This is a simple workflow or flowchart of instruction. Other inter interventions such as symposium and or exhibit showing best outputs and rewards and recognition for best achievers may also be implemented. We have to remember to put a branding on our interventions, innovation strategies to be implemented. What does branding or branded intervention means? So I will present to you the different inter interventions we've employed in the Project Aral Pandemic. So the CI project of the Consur Society. We have the Aral Pandemihan. So this is the recruitment process of teacher writer who will voluntarily write SLMs. Next, we have the Aral Pandihan. So there will be a series of virtual conferences and orientation among the writer. We also have the intervention called Aral Pansulatan. This will start the writing of their SLMs and other instructional materials and will conduct self-editing using SLMs, IM's evaluation tool following the LRMDS 
standards. Aside from this, we also have the Aral Panpulitan. So this is an intensive and consistent reminder among the writers to facilitate faster return of revised outputs for validation. We also have Aral Pansurian, a mistake-proofing mistake process wherein SLMs and other IMs will be subjected to validation. We also have Aral Pandimbagan. So this is the uploading process of the SLMs and other instructional materials. Lastly, our intervention called Aral Panlikuman, which is the visual management wherein the self-learning modules and other instructional materials will be free and accessible to the students and teachers within the division of Camarines Sur through the Kamsur Soksai Panlikuman Facebook page and YouTube channel. So for every intervention, we need to explain how it will be done. The questions what, who, where, and how must be answered. So we have here the competency mastery wall as a sample of visual management, which I used in my project gold, which was divided into three parts. So the lesson master, competency master wall, and the high flyers of the quarter. Infographics was also provided with the other VM or visual management tools. This was placed in a strategic area in the classroom so everyone will be able to see it. So in this time of pandemic where mobility is limited, we can devise other techniques on visual management or on creating visual management techniques. Social media may be utilized. Like for example, posting your subject area achievers in Facebook or in other social media platforms wherein your students will be able to see your visual management tool. A sample of process simplification and mistake proofing. So the mistake proofing tool for the project Aral Pandemic was called Aral Pan Surian, wherein after writing the SLMs, it will be subjected to peer editing and initial revision. Right after that, it will be submitted to content validator, language editor, and layout editor. If it needs major revision on the third step, it will be sent back to the writer for revision, for major revision. However, if it only needs minor revision, it will be submitted directly to the overall validator. So that is how we explain each intervention. Let's have the action research methods. So participants and other sources of data and information. So data on the respondents must be presented here. If there are other sources of data like external stakeholders and others, it must also be included. As for this example, there's a total enumeration of 53 grade 9 gold of Rodriguez National High School, Pili Camarines, or enrolled for school year 2019-2020 will be the respondents of the study. So test results in AP for the first grading is a source of data and information. Average as well of the learner's grades as reflected in SFY will be used to back up the data for the test results of the focused subject. So that's all about participants and other sources of data and information. Action research methods, we also have the data gathering methods. So discuss here the means on how you will get the data needed for each research questions. You may include tables and then include rubrics on how you will interpret the results on the table later on. Okay, next to that is the data analysis plan. So discuss on how will you analyze the data gathered in your study. So this, for example, this data analysis plan was presented for action research question so that the research and other researchers will fully understand and internalize this 
process. So for the performance level of learners in AP9 based from the first quarter test results, this will be the data analysis plan. For the data analysis of action research question number one, the test results for the first grading period for AP9 will be used as basis. Equivalent ratings will be obtained and interpreted using the range of rating so there is uh, rubrics okay so 81 to 100 as the very high and then very low 1 to 35 so that's for action research method let us proceed to the action research work plan and timelines so in the action research work plan and timelines we will follow the ci process this is called a triple a and under each stage are the steps, which we call the 10 CI steps. For the assess stage, the first stage, you are trying to understand your current processes and your current performance against the need and the wants of your stakeholders. Maybe the question there is how are we performing based on the requirement of our stakeholders or learners? So it involves a step one to four, get organized, talk with your customer, wherein you will be needing your VOC or the voice of the customer. Step three, walk the process. And then four, identify priority improvement areas. For the analyze stage, the stage two, it is getting to the root causes of the problem. It allows you not to jump into solutions without really identifying what the real reasons are. This stage will help us create more relevant solutions to our causes, okay, to our root causes that we have identified in the problem. So it involves three steps. We have the root cause analysis, development of solutions from the root causes identified, and then finalize improvement plan. Right after that is the act stage or the third stage, which is the implementation of the solution. So implementing the solutions is also a continuous improvement. So you will notice that the arrow in the triple A goes back to the first stage from the act stage going back to the assess stage. Okay, this means that we must continuously improve. So there is a cycle in the CI process. We need to consider our learners and everything we do. So in each step of the CI process, the 10 steps, the learners must always be our top priority. Despite our good intentions to improve the way we do things, there should also be a careful and structured way on how to manage it so that people will not resist change there is nothing permanent except change for the cost estimates include all the details of the possible expenses in implementing your research you can submit your proposal for birth or basic education research fund of the regional office which grants financial support for basic and action researches however the slots for birth this year is already full. Maybe next year you can submit your action research for funding. Okay, aside from birth, you can also uh, cite personal sponsors and other fund source as your source of funds. So this is an example of a cost estimate. So it includes the item, the quantity, unit price, and then the total price. For the fund source, sponsors, and other fund source, personal or birth. So plans for dissemination and utilization includes activities, timelines, persons involved, and means of verification. So this involves your plans on how to communicate the results of your study to the others. It can be internal or external stakeholders. For example, you plan to present your research output during faculty conferences, during district, division, or regional research forum. So the timeline must be identified as well as the persons involved. It can be uh, the proponent, the CI team, if you have your CI team.
For the means of verification, you may identify or add presentation slides, briefer, and then plan you. So these three are mandated or required when you are um, implementing ACI project. For the references, the last part of the action research proposal, we must identify all the sources that we've gathered in developing this project proposal. So that ends the presentation for the action research proposal. Thank you, good luck, and God bless.